Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make lamb pilar rice and we're going to run through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start cooking. You need one cup of oil, uh, one full kettle of, bo um, of boiled water. I've got four mugs of um, white basmati rice here. Just to show you, that's the measurement you're looking for. You don't need to scrape the um, rice off the top so it's just like that. Um, I've got one kg of back chops. Now, I actually prefer back chops. You can use whatever cut of meat you want. I've got two white onions, which I've sliced, two tomatoes, roughly chopped, and I've got one um, frozen piece of garlic and the same of ginger. If you don't have the frozen pieces, you can use um, a tablespoon each uh, of the paste. And then I've got these whole ingredients here, which is a tablespoon of cumin seeds, two bay leaves, four black cardamom pods. I've got a teaspoon of black peppercorns, uh, the same of cloves and I've got two cinnamon sticks here it was just one big piece which I've snapped in half and I've got two and a half tablespoons of salt and we're going to start by preparing the stock first of all which is the yakni. so first of all we're going to add the meat and then we're going to use the same mug that we used to measure the rice with and just Get six cups of water into that from your kettle. And then just turn the gas on and bring that to the boil and then let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and we want the meat to be half cooked. So it's just coming back to this, this has been on full heat boiling away for about 15 minutes and we're just going to put this to the side and we're going to start prepping the masala base for the bilau rice. Uh, don't throw the stock away guys, we're going to be using that later. So we're going to first of all start by preheating the grey and just get it nice and hot and then in with your oil. And just get that nice and hot. And we're going to throw in the whole spices first of all. And just fry them for a couple of seconds. And then in with the onions. Now we're looking for a really nice dark brown colour on these um, so they're like almost caramelised so they'll take at least 10 minutes or so to cook and I'll come back to this once it's done to show you how it looks. Now whilst I've got the onions cooking away I'm just going to wash the rice and I'm going to leave it to soak for at least 30 minutes. So coming back to this now that is the colour that we're looking for. So it's slightly dark brown, um, not too dark, but that's the colour you want because that's what's going to give the, the meat and the rice its Bila rice colour, which is the brown colour you're looking for. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of um, water to this to stop it cooking any further. And you can see the colour a little bit better now once we've added the liquid into that. Now we can add the tomatoes and the ginger and the garlic and the salt as well. And just cook that down until the ginger garlic sort of like loses its rawness and the tomatoes will soften up as well and then we'll be ready to add the meat and cook it further so that's been cooking away now for about five minutes uh, tomatoes are nice and soft and the oils now um, started to sort of like separate itself and come to the surface so now we're going to add the meat to this so just go in and get your meat 
and just add it straight into the galoot. Then, let's give that a stir and we're going to cook this now for about 15 to 20 minutes and you're, you're looking for the meat to be tender whilst you're doing this um, it's also a good idea to have to hand some water either in a mug or in a kettle but just near you so you can just keep adding to the dish once you're cooking it because you don't want it to stick to the bottom and you also want it to be fully cooked at this at this point uh, which is going to take at least 15 to 20 minutes so just coming back to check on this it's been about five minutes it's been cooking away and you can see that there's hardly any water left at the bottom and the meat's taken on a really nice color from the caramelized onions and we're going to add a little bit more water to this and continue cooking it now further and we're going to do this at least two to three times more. So leave it to cook, come back to it, check it, add more water to it and do that three more times. And then it will be ready uh, and we can add the rice to this. So see you guys in a short while. So guys, I've been cooking this for the past 20 minutes. It's now ready and it's taken on a beautiful dark brown colour, which is what we're looking for. The oil started to separate and come to the surface as well, which indicates that it's ready. Uh, the next step, of course, is to sift the stock that we boiled the meat in and then add that to this. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do after I've done that. So I've just sift that and I'm just going to use this mug same mug again and measure out five cups you should be left with approximately five cups uh, five mugs of water um, if for any reason you don't have five mugs there just make up the uh, remaining amount by using just boiled kettle water so that's two three sorry i'm just gonna four And then you want to bring that to the boil. So we're going to wait for this to come to the boil now. And then we're going to add the rice. And at this stage, you want to turn your oven on. Because I'm going to be putting the grey into the oven to give it dump in there. Uh, because it's got even distribution of heat. And it just cooks better in, in an oven, I feel. But if you don't have an oven, you can just use um, a gas stove and just pop the, the pilau rice on there and let that cook on a gas mark too for about 15 minutes. Um, if you're using an oven, it's gonna go in at gas mark 160 Celsius for again 15 minutes. I'm just gonna swap my wooden spoon for this. It just makes it easier when you're stirring and it prevents the rice from breaking. So just go on and add that in. gently stir that and just allow that to cook so just checking up on this and um, it's still got quite a lot of water in there so we're just going to wait for it to completely reduce down to nothing but it smells amazing and you can tell the the rice has taken on that really nice colour from the onions. So, a few more minutes and that should be ready for the oven. Let's just check this now. So guys, the water's completely disappeared now and that's what we want. The dishcloth that I was using to hold the handles with, I've just run that under the tap and I'm just going to pop this on to give them like this now. And just turn it up. And then that just needs to go in to the oven for about 15 minutes, which I'm going to do now. 
Okay, time to get this out. So after 15 minutes, just remember to use gloves because it's really hot. And I am going to pop this down first of all. Remove that, put that to the side. Bring that over here. I'm going to take that off and that's how it looks and I'll show you. Soft and fluffy lamb pilla rice. It's cooked to the point where it's coming away from the bone. And you just want to go around and just bring all of the rice from the bottom up. And I'm just going to plate it up and just show you how it looks. So guys, there you have it, my lamb pilau rice recipe. And we're just going to zoom into this now and show you all the grains that are nice and fluffy, separated, looks delicious, soft meat that just breaks off. And do try the recipe. I'm sure you're going to love it. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, head over to it, hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified of any updates. In the meantime, take care and happy eating.